Who is it? Mr. Wright. Have you seen the New York Times style section? For some reason in my head, that was Stanford's place. You know, the, the last time I saw Willie and most of us saw Willie, maybe all of us saw Willie was at that Mr. Big's funeral. Sarah Jessica was the only person who knew that he was ill. At one point, Sarah knew and the rest of us didn't because he didn't want us to know because he didn't want it to be about that. If he could have stayed one more day, two more hours, three more weeks, he would have summoned the strength and pushed away the, per the terrible pain that he was in. I mean, pain, like physical pain. You know, it was a shock. It was unexpected. <gasps> the week before, I had spent hours and hours with him shooting the scene, and he was so funny and silly and and full of energy, seemingly. Sorry. Slightly more natural. Well, I don't get olives. Not in the ashroom. Twist? I'll twist. Twist. Shouldn't they have called her first? I would think. Stanford? Where? Sorry, I went back for my martini. I, I told you I'm not a good hider. He came first. You know, he was the original gay on the show. You know, and at that time, sometimes there's only room for one gay character. We were going to get to see their turbulent yet dependent and loving marriage. And it was, uh, it was really, really a, a tough thing because I just losing him and not having him around. It's straight love that's become closeted. Stanford Blatch was one of my closest friends. God, I can't believe I can't call Willie. I cannot, I cannot believe I can't call him. I just, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my God, I love this song. Me too. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. And reaction. he would always tell me that he was the most popular character on the show, and he was not making a joke. He was quite serious. And I was like, it's, if you say so, um, uh, turned out he might have been right. <laughs> this is my best prom ever. Thank you for coming.